you have to define display settings to display an object in an automated scale factor. But after this is defined, how can you identify an element which may be viewed in different skill factors? So in this class, you will study about viewing an object in automated skill factors. You will also learn about editing registered skill factors so you can insert or delete factors. Let's use the workbench vice drawing to demonstrate these concepts. When you place the mouse over an entity configured as an additive, a scale symbol is displayed next to the cursor. Take a look at this. When we place it over the vice jaw grip configured as an additive, the scale symbol is displayed. This way, you can identify an object enabled for automatic display in different skill factors. Besides that, whenever you select such an entity, the same element is displayed several times. However, in different sizes, as you can see in the case of the selected vice jaw grip. As well as the two previous ways, you can also view this in viewports and specify a viewing scale factor for each element in the drawing. You can see three viewports for specifying drawing views and a fourth one to display part details at a different scale factor. Here you can see in the last viewport the part detail dimensions are displayed the same as in the other views. This is due to the annotation scale resource which was configured for the elements in the drawing. You can also define the display scale factor settings for each of the viewports. To do this, first select the desired viewport and then on the status bar in the viewport scale field select the scale factor for viewing. As a reminder, to view viewports at different scale factors is only possible in the layout and paper scale modes. Up to now, we are using only registered skill factors for viewing objects which were previously registered. And now, we are going to learn to edit these skill factors. You edit this on the Properties palette. Select the desired object when you wish to register or remove a skill factor and then click the reticence button in the annotative scale option. Select the item in the list and then click the delete button to delete a registered skill factor. And if you wish to add a new skill factor to the entity, click add and in a new dialog box select the desired skill factor, then confirm it. Click OK again to confirm the change. So now you have made changes so you can view entities at different skill factors applied to the drawing. Then, whenever you need to display a specific mechanism detail in an element at a defined skill factor, you can edit it to enable this for enhanced viewing. Up to now, we have been modifying elements with predefined skill factor settings. But now we will learn how to edit an existing entity which has not yet been enabled for annotative scale factors.
This editing process is also done on the Properties palette, as was explained before. After the drawing dimensions are selected, access the Annotative option on this palette. You can see the Annotative Scale field is now enabled. Register the desired scale factors in this field. So after that, an entity which was not previously configured for scale factor settings is now enabled for these options. So in this class you have studied about editing settings for different automatic scale factors. You have also learned about defined settings for an existing element which is not yet being displayed this way.